Wargames Atlantic are launching a series of boxed multi-purpose plastic miniatures which will, their website states, cover a wide swathe of time starting with the first civilizations of the Eastern Mediterranean through to the conquests of Alexander. First among these is a box of ancient Persian infantry. The box contains eight identical sprues, each of which contains enough parts to make five Persian warriors, giving you an impressive 40 infantry in each set. The first two bodies are wearing tunics, with one headless, posed firing a bow and the other with separate arms and head. There are two further left arms holding bows on the sprue, two right arms releasing and one right arm holding an arrow, allowing you to make up to three bow arm troops should you wish to do so. There are also four bow cases included on the sprue, allowing you to equip your three bow armed soldiers with quivers, but also giving you the option of adding a bow case to a more heavily armoured soldier as well. Given the propensity for bow armoured troops in the Persian army, it is great to see all of these options included in the set. The other three bodies wear armour, one modelled with left arm attached to take a shield, the other with neither heads nor arms, the right arm options including three spears, a sword and an axe as well as a trumpet should you wish to turn one man into a musician. Included are an amazing 17 different head options, which Wargames Atlantic claim are suitable for several satrapi and allied tribes. And they're not kidding, no matter what look you want for your Persians, I'm pretty sure the appropriate head will be here somewhere. Finally, there are six shields, two crescent moon style, two oval style, and two of the largest spara bara style, again giving you plenty of infantry options. There is only one other object on each sprue that I have to admit took a little bit of working out, but I think I've identified it as an extra beard, which you could use to turn some of your shorter bearded heads into longer bearded officers. As with other Wargames Atlantic sets, there are no bases included in the box. Overall, this is a great box set, the miniatures go together easily, with a huge number of options to allow you to personalise your army. The shield and weapon options allow you to create a skirmish force for games such as Men of Bronze, or to create lines of bow and sparabara armed infantry for bigger battles. This is a great start to the first Empire's range, and we look forward to further releases. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.